So happy Saturday. And um, you probably are wondering, oh, where I am. I'm at Trader Joe's. We just got done with our bikini appointment. That'll be in a separate video. So uh, you guys can check that out. We just got our um, second to last fitting. I feel good. I There's still so many areas on my body. It's like, I don't know why my body just doesn't want to listen to what I tell it <laughs> to do. Um, anyways, I'm at Trader Joe's. A lot of you guys asked why I don't go to Costco right now. Actually, my husband goes to Costco, so he picks up some of the stuff that I need from Costco. But because I'm on such a like pretty regimented um, diet right now, just for this competition, it's just easier for me to go to Trader Joe's because I'm not picking up that much food. And um, it's pretty like much the same thing all the time. So it's just easier for me to do that. And uh, my husband's cooking his own food right now. Normally, I'll cook his food as well. But um, just because I've been doing so much of it, I'm I'm just doing mine and he's doing his. But he goes to Costco to pick up like some of the other things that we need um, that we use. So we're kind of in charge of our own food right now. Um, but we're going to go inside and um, go grocery shopping. I'm a little tired. So I'm hoping to go home and just relax for a little bit before I start um, cooking. I'm going to try to cook today, I think. So we'll see. But um, I will take you guys inside. I'm not sure if I will be able to film very much, but I will do what I can. Basically, I filmed a little bit while I was in Trader Joe's because nobody was really watching me. Um, but I guess I'll do a quick little haul if you guys want to see that. I'll just do it really quick. Um, I picked up some heirloom tomatoes. Um, asparagus for one of my veggies. Iceberg lettuce to make salads. I ran out of um, balsamic vinegar. I usually get the one at Costco. I really love the one at Costco. And I've been using that other one, but I wanted another kind, so I got this one. And it's really low in sugar and acidity. And then I also got some white balsamic vinegar. This is great for um, to make uh, salad dressing. Um, I got some coconut oil spray and some olive oil spray. I particularly like the ones at Trader Joe's for some reason. Um, I also picked up more of that flaxseed with the blueberries. I'm gonna, oh, it says refrigerate after open. Wow. <laughs> Are you supposed to refrigerate flaxseed after you open it? Crap. I haven't been refrigerating flaxseed after I open it. Alrighty. I seem to be alive, so we'll see. Um, picked up some Dijon mustard. I've been craving mustard lately. Um, I also wanted to try some of their face wash. It has tree tree tea tree oil. Thought that could help with my breakouts that I've been having because kind of annoyed with that. Um, so yeah, I picked up some green beans and some broccoli. So that's going to be kind of my veggies. Some more dill for my salads. An avocado. Put that in there. Picked up some various fish. I got some mahi mahi. Some Alaskan cod. I kind of like that this was in pieces. For some reason, I liked it. Some diced onions because I'm lazy. 
some tilapia because it's good. And another thing of tilapia. Having those for dinner. Got a little thing of baby spinach for my snacks at night. I have egg whites and spinach right before bed. Some Boscovich Farm cilantro. Two of these English um, cucumbers. Some more salsa especial. Oh, and I picked up a little thing of tea tree oil also to put on um, on my breakouts. Um, this is a really just highly concentrated. You can just put a little on a cotton pad and put on the, the parts of your skin that you need to treat. Got a little thing of egg whites because we still have a bunch. I got three of these 99% um, fat-free ground turkey breasts. And I got five of these organic free-range chicken. Um, and I washed these. Gosh, everybody's like attacking me. They're like, you eat organic, but you don't wash your chicken. It's so funny. Everybody does everything so differently, you know? It, it is what it is. I, I'm not perfect with everything. I don't always prep my food um, to the best of its, you know, I try to do my best. I appreciate, like, the advice on things because, you know, I don't know everything. Obviously, I didn't refrigerate my flax seeds. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's kind of one of those things where everybody does things differently. And somebody was saying how if you use the foil, don't use it on the shiny side up, it can cause cancer. I mean, I don't know. By the way, did you guys see the weather outside? Well, you can't really, like, see it, but it's freaking freezing, like, 50 degrees. I think maybe even 45 degrees. It was freezing. And, um, I don't get it. I don't know why. It's so cold. Anyways. I'm going to make my snack, and I'm going to put these groceries away, and then I'm going to relax for a second. Yeah, and then I'll catch up with you guys a little later. All right. Meal number two. Some chicken, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a little bit of that salsa. Sunday. Just showing you some of my meal prep. Doesn't look too exciting and it pretty much looks the same as last time because it's exactly the same as last time. Oh, um, I'm excited to share more recipes with you guys as I uh, bring in uh, different foods and, and things. Um, I have so many like videos that I've written down for ideas. Until then, everything is going to be pretty much simple and clean. I'm just um, cooking my turkey meat right now. Can't wait to cook it differently when, when I'm done, but for right now I'm just getting it sauteed up. So today's meal prep will be pretty simple. I'll show you guys a little bit and try to answer any question, more recent questions that you guys have had about how I pack my snacks and what I do for that. Um, I'm gonna prep my oats again and my almonds and um, kind of just go from there. So, anyways, let me get to my ve veggies and I'm gonna. These are actually already pre washed from Trader Joe's and trimmed, but I'm gonna wash them again and then I'm gonna put them in um, boiling water. And I've already got my fish in the oven for, you guys saw that, for 25 minutes. And I'm gonna eat my snack. Buffalo wing sauce, some chicken, and some celery sticks. So, that's what I'm doing. I basically just dumped all the vegetables in there. This is how lazy I am today, you guys, and I don't even care. Wow, you guys, I got meal prep down to 45 minutes. Chicken is done. Veggies are done. 
Tupperware. Fish is done. And now I'm ready. I already made some sweet potato. The hubby made some sweet potato for me, so. 45 minutes. That's as much of ever. Alright. So I had to share a little tidbit. Um, one of my snacks right now is ground turkey and a veggie. And sometimes I have a chance to eat it at work or at home. But when I'm like driving to the gym or something, I try to find a veggie that I could snack on in the car. So I grab some green beans and I'm going to put them in Ziploc. Um, so part of my meals will have the veggie inside of the Tupperware like this. And then part of my veggies will have a Ziploc and the Tupperware so I can eat it while I'm driving home or even make my protein the chicken. So just kind of plan your day. That was just kind of like a random thought I had because I, I do that every once in a while. So, so yeah. Hey guys, so I just got done doing some cardio here at home um, and I'm going to meet Brittany to do a shoulder workout. I think I'm going to get there a little earlier and finish my cardio. I still have 20 minutes and I'm just drinking a cup of coffee as per usual. I had five almonds, my pre-workout, which is just glutamine and amino acids, my vitamins, and I have my post-workout, and my, um, I'm going to take some of that Alpha Cree HD by First Form, and I'm tired, but I won't bore you with that, and there's like a freaking tornado outside, um, the weather has been crazy and everything that's going on with Nepal, and it's just been an interesting day, but... I'm grateful that I feel okay. I have a little bit of energy um, to get my workout done. So I'm just going to go now because if I wait any longer, I'll change my mind. Hey guys. So I just got done with my workout. It was such a good workout. I was actually eating my broccoli and chicken while I was doing shoulders. Um, I figured like I was really low energy and I had my food and I was like, you know what? I'm going to use my food to give me energy. So I just brought it with me and was full on eating it during the workout. Hey, you do what you gotta do, right? Um, anyways, I met up with Brittany and we had such a good workout. It was one of those times where I had planned it appropriately. I had coffee, I had my food, and I went in there with like a different frame of mind. I was just like, let's build some muscle on my shoulder. You know, let's think about it differently. And it really helped um, rather than like, I gotta get my workout done. I was focused on the muscle and how it was feeling. So sometimes that helps. Try it. Just focus on how you're feeling and you know the muscle that you're working. It also really helps with getting a good workout because you're working that muscle and sometimes we just throw weights around not actually feeling the muscle. I apologize I'm eating. I'm starving. But I do have my camera on the car mount. I'm not sure if it's like angled properly but I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I also did my cardio at home, which was just a stepper for 35 minutes. And then um, I did the rest of my cardio here. And I did like a hit routine, which was basically 30 seconds of like as fast as I can on the um, arc trainer on a 45 or 50 incline. Oh my God, I'm choking. Oh, please. I cooked my chicken so much, it's like beef jerky. Um, or chicken jerky. <laughs> um, actually, let me take my glutamine really quickly here. It's just, um, I use the powdery one. It's actually Kimoto's um, glutamine. First form has one too, I need to try it. Pretty sure that Alpha Cree HD also gave me a lot of energy, too. Anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. My workout. Oh, the high interval training that you can do. Um, 30 seconds as fast as you can, and then 30 seconds back at like a normal pace but pick a song or pick music that you can kind of keep a good pace and rhythm and then just go 30 seconds on 30 seconds off 30 seconds on 30 seconds off 
Um, a lot of people use it for sprinting. Like, my body just sprinting is not... I'm too old for that shenanigan. Um, my body hurts so bad if I try to do that. So just pick a machine that you're comfortable with and then do like a high interval training on that machine and get that heart rate up. So my heart rate would go to like 170 and then 145 and then 170 and 145. And it's a nice little high intensity training that you can do on any machine or on anything, sprinting, whatever. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some more veggies. My coach just replaced my olive oil at dinner with a cup of veggies. So I did not prep for that. But I did get all my food done. I didn't really film a whole lot of it because it was pretty boring and I was exhausted. So I just like quickly did it. Um, but I'm going to go grab um, some gallons of water. Make sure I get my water in this week. And um, some more veggies. And I think that's it. So um, yeah. I will talk to you guys a little bit later when I get home. And it's 6.16 right now. And it's um, sunny and I feel really good. So, anyways, just wanted to check in. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. And, um, oh, I love this quote I posted up on here. I don't know if you guys saw it. If I quit now, I will soon be back to where I started. And when I started, I was desperately wishing to be where I am now. Kind of something you have to remind yourself when you get, when you get to this point. Because you feel like you'll never get to where you want to be. And then you have to remind yourself of where you were because you would have killed to be here, you know? It kind of just makes you appreciate the moment. I also posted the cutest picture of my puppy Samson with his mustache toy. And yeah, I love your guys' comments and I love all of you guys, seriously. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna get going and I will talk to you guys later. So I picked up some sunflowers from the grocery store, just the regular grocery store. It made me really happy. Mother's Day is coming and my mom loves sunflowers. And I picked up a little Bruce Jenner journey and um, just a lot of random things that I love listening to. And then this is what I call my lazy veggies to go. They cut up the zucchini like string like, um, like french fries so I like that. They chopped up some of the zucchini and squash so that was kind of nice. Got asparagus. Got some more red onion because I only got white at Trader Joe's. Picked up some horseradish mustard. I guess this is like a grocery store haul. We have an hour since here. And then I picked up some Cholula hot sauce and chili lime because I ran out of that flavor. And yeah. Well, that's just what I got. Sorry, I took off my hat. My hair's probably a disaster. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to... I use these mason jars that I thrifted at Savers. I love these. These colored ones, and then I have this like old water jug that I use, and then I have little mini, mini mason jars. This is just a rose that my hubby got me that I dried. So, anyways, that is what I'm doing. Hi, animals. Hi, Sashi. Hi, Oscar. Sophie. Hey, Sam, Sam, what's you got a new toy? What is that? I love it when they go in their toy bin and pick out new toys, which means that like they still love stuff. Drop it. Good boy. Huh, Sasha? Don't we love that? Sashi. Hi, Oscars. Hey guys, I just wanted to say hi. Uh, I had a wonderful day with a good friend. I went to work and then I met up with um, one of my best friends that flew in with her little boy.